Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earth weather, news at Mars, exoplanets, and from the world of electricity. We're going to get started, however, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're looking at the last 24 hours on our star. Features include the dark transequatorial coronal hole coming down from the north across the equator. It is separated in the north by bright umbral magnetic fields from sunspots. And just behind the coronal hole is a thinner dark plasma filament that is under eruption watch as it faces Earth heading into next week. The sunspot group still doesn't have its act together. Earth facing quiet up 17-3 at the half and they get the ball to start the second. Complete split side to side of polarities here and that is not how sunspots make solar flares. X-ray flux remains flatlined. Solar wind here dropped out in an instant and produced a total geospace and geomagnetic calm. In fact, without something a bit more, we are in danger of getting a cosmic ray health alert today. Remember to have the observer's alerts turned on in the Disaster Prediction app. Looking at the sun in 211 angstroms to isolate and focus on the corona hole structure. Still got some days before its solar wind arrives, so that cosmic ray health alert appears likely still under the seismic uptick warning from it as well. But we're on to our top stories. Potential Mars landing sites for the 2020 pipe dream have been chosen. Ugh, guys, come on. I don't think you made these far enough away from Vallis Marineris, did you? Didn't feel like checking out the Umbrella Magnetism Zone either. Okay. Folks, I'm not sure what happened online to cause a flurry of Stephen Hawking emails coming in the last few days. Folks, his alien commentary is actually a couple months old here. He was discussing the potential to find life on Gliese after an artist rendering of an Earth-like planet turned out to be exactly what it looks like. Fascinating, amazing, no doubt, but alas, it was released back in November, folks. Then this, there is a crystal that can turn light, heat, and pressure into electric current and its variations can be found throughout the mantle with major chemical abundances once you hit the transition zone. Basically, just being down there will produce electricity from these crystals. Folks, we're seeing the tailing out of the polar vortex in the north. This is the beginning of its expansion, death throes heading towards the northern spring. It will be really dying a month from now, while by that time we should be seeing more stratospheric action forming in the south. Website members, you got a Fly on the Wall podcast yesterday, and David from Adapt 2030 made it on there to discuss some climate-related issues. But to get the most out of that discussion, you need to go to the Deeper Look section and watch the latest upload there first, trying to forecast magnetic chaos. On Earth, obviously. It will help you benefit from the podcast as they ham and egg off one another. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.